welcome i'm katie and this is a fountain pen awakening i hope that wherever you are in the world you're doing super well i'm doing great i just came back from melbs melbourne in victoria australia and it was my mum's 80th so i um went down for the weekend she made me and it was freezing cold <laughs> Um, and I missed out on like three or four days of like 24, 26 degrees here Celsius. And now I've come back and um, yesterday was beautiful. But this morning I woke up and it's kind of like overcast. It's like been raining on and off. I'm sort of out on my veranda, but it's a bit dark. And um, yeah, it was raining before a little bit. So here I am. Um, so I had a great time. It was fantastic to catch up with fam. You know, like I hadn't seen everyone together for ages um what with covid what with me moving up to queensland then being down in victoria one thing and another so yeah it was just lovely to catch up especially with my nephews they've all grown i mean i've got a 70 year 17 year old nephew who's like taller than me and when he came up to me and said oh hi auntie katie and hugged me like i was my goodness me you have grown my friend so no it was lovely it was lovely so um I hope all of you are doing well. Um, what have you been up to? Have you had a nice weekend? Today, as I'm filming, it is um, Tuesday. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that that's rain. Um, yeah, so today I thought I'd sort of quickly come on and do a Currently Ink for August with you guys. Um, it will include some of um, the inks that I got in my latest haul that I did a swatching bit of. So I've got some of them inked up in my pens. Now, I know that I kind of said last time in one of my videos that I was going to try and keep my pens to a smaller amount of being inked up rather than, but I just can't help myself. I just, I don't know, you know, like, and this is not all of them. I haven't got all of my pens inked up guys, but a vast majority of them I do. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with my one of my new inks. This is um, a beautiful kind of um, grey, greeny ink. It's the, I cannot pronounce this, Yakyo uh, And it's a shimmer ink. Now this one here is a Kiono Oto. I found that when I initially put it in my pen with all the particulates, it would block my feet. But because I really love, love, love this color, I thought to myself, oh, you know, how can I use this ink? Because I really want to use it. So I had the brilliant idea, and I don't know why I haven't thought of this before. But instead of shaking the ink, right, um, and making it so that all the um, particulates go everywhere, I just like allowed all the particulates to sink down to the bottom and then I just got my syringe and sucked it up making sure that I didn't get you know from the bottom of the sample and put it in my pen and Bob's your uncle and um, and this means that I can use this ink and um, it gives you that sparkle wackle but it's not overwhelming sparkly wackly if you know what I'm saying so yeah so that's what I did so I thought oh now that's great because with some inks which are very particular heavy sometimes they do clog your feet so the trick is don't shake it all up just let the the particulate settle in the ink and if you like the ink you can still use it and put it in your pens without you know the heavy particulates through it and you will still get little bits of particulates through it which will help with the shimmer but it won't be overwhelming so so for any of you who you know never thought of that before there you go easy hack to use your shimmer inks all right, so the next one is, um, I love this ink. So this is a Krishna ink and I've inked it up in my um, my new pen. Now this is my Estabrook SD, well, well it's an Estabrook Junior, not SD. Um, and I love this pen, it writes super, super well. And I've decided that I like to act, even if it's long, I actually like to post it because it gives it kind of a heft to it. It's quite well balanced. Now I did have some problems with this pen because there's kind of this step in the middle of the, the grip here, but I'm getting used to it. Now this one here I've inked up in this super cool ink. It's called Poika and it is a Krishna ink. Now the good thing is this is a green ink and it's got this red sheen in it, but it's just, you know, like this red, but it's not overwhelming red. It's, it's a nice dark sheen. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it in this pen. 
and this pen oh my goodness this pen writes so well and i've got a medium nib on my um on my junior here so i've really been enjoying this ink in this pen i've had um, another krishna ink before and i find that they write really 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 well this nib is quite wet but uh, the krishna inks are really super good they are kind of you know got nice lubrication but they're not too super wet and this is in my this the book junior and this i've got a medium nib in now the next um ink that i super 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 love is this colorverse ink that i got it project ink number 23 oh hang on Q <laughs> Young Guck. Q Young Guck. Butchered that. I did, I did. And it's such a beautiful colour. I love it. It's kind of like a terracotta pink. Oh, I keep spelling colour verse with colour with a U, but it's actually not got a U in it. But yeah, so, you know, it goes down kind of a little bit darker, but then it dries to this kind of um, dusky pink, terracotta pink, which is super lovely. And I've got this in my Lamy Vista. And this has a fine nib on it. Color verse. Color verse. That's it, not color. Well, here in Australia, we do spell color with a U. I know over in the US and some other parts of the world, you don't use the U in a color. All right, and the next one is my new ink which is super cute it's kind of like an apricot color it does remind me a little bit of Rui Dunk and um, this is um, ink studio 573 so ink. it's just a really really nice apricot color um, it's a kind of a little bit pinky orange I guess I really like it and I've got this in my Sailor Pro Via Slim. And this has a medium nib. But how cool is it? Really pretty, isn't it? And sorry guys, if you hear the traffic, it's all going past now. Don't know why. As soon as I hit the um, record button, boom. Shakalaka. So these are my four new inks that I got. I did have another ink inked up which is this one here the friedrich by car pink or car ink <laughs> i don't know how you, they pronounce it but see how that's got that real sheen heavy heavy red sheen well i put that in a pen and even though you know it wrote beautifully at the beginning um then i would leave it for five or six minutes or half an hour or a day and it just like the the the, the nib would just dry out and it was just super hard to get the ink flowing and so that was a bit of a shame so i had to clean out the pen and um yeah couldn't use that one so then i thought it was super fun to ink up and i think last time i had this inked up as well before i left to go overseas um i put my copper patina in my moon man i i usually have i usually have my uh, butterfly dream in here but I thought I'd switch it up and use the copper patina because I hadn't used it for quite some time. So I've got this one in here. This is a troublemaker ink. It is a shimmer ink. And this um, moon man here takes shimmer ink inks really well. I've got like this oblique broad on it. And um, and I just like, I don't know, it, it tends to do, do, do shimmer inks real justice. So this one is in, well, I call it Moon Man, as everyone knows, they now become Mahjong. But because this does have Moon Man on it, I'm just going to refer to this pen as Moon Man. So Moon Man, and this has got a, an Abrig Broad on it. And I think at least that's what it is. Because who knows? <laughs> but yeah, super fun. I'm humming and ahhing about getting another Moon Man, but having said that, the the nibs that came with this model are really super good. But then when I got my other Moon Man, which I'm gonna, you know that the purple pen that I got, the 600S, it came with this nib. Um, 
and for some reason the model that I want to get has this nib and I don't like this nib as much as I like the original Moon Man ones. So I think these are the new nibs that they've put on. This is a size six nib. So I've inked up my little fat man. I hadn't been using my little fat man because it had the food nib on it. And because it's quite, this, this pen is quite girthy, it was really hard to sort of maneuver that nib. You know, I had to sort of hold the pen in different ways. So I thought I'd use this nib that was on my purple pen the 600s and put it on here and then because um is it super fun i put my van diemen's ink in here which is my blue ringed octopus now this is very very wet this this nib here and this is blue ringed octopus van diemen's ink this is a heavy sheena too so yeah i find that this nib is super wet which is great with this ink because that means that, you know, you get more sheen coming through and the, and the color is more saturated as opposed to, you know, lighter. So this one, this is a Mahjong. So this one I bought as a Mahjong. I bought it off, was it Amazon? Yeah, I think, I, and it came with two nibs. It came with a food nib or a food nib and it came with a normal nib and that normal nib is on another pen and it just writes so super well. Mahjong and this has got a fine nib on it but yeah see how wet that is Woo. super fun oh Mahjong little fat man I should write shouldn't I little fat man and you just see all the sloshing of the ink in there it's classic now what have I got next? Ah, oh, yes, I've inked up my Azurite in my Firefly. I haven't been writing with Azurite for quite some time, so I thought it'd be super cool, this Azurite colour, which is kind of a purple, bluey colour. It's a Lamy Crystal Series ink. Super nice with this, um, with this yellow, this Firefly yellow. Sometimes it's good to, I'm kind of a matchy-matchy person with my inks, but sometimes it's good to sort of ink up a contrast ink to the color of the barrel of the pen. And this is my Lamy All Star. I call this Firefly. I think the name of the pen is actually Charged Yellow or something like that. And this has got a 1.1 stub nib in it gorgeous and then my next one that i've got inked up and i think i did tell you about that was like an ink that i took overseas with me i had it in a different pen i had it in my pilot oh my goodness what was the name of the new pen that i bought i can't remember i'll link the name below but i put it in this because i thought it kind of matched this blue and it's just like a, a cartridge ink it's the pilot blue cartridge ink and I kind of like this bluey blue. <laughs> and yeah, I just think it matches the blue in the barrel of this pen. It writes super well. I really like this ink actually. This pilot ink is, is really lubricated and yummy. Can you hear? It's raining. It's raining. And this is in my Bennu Briolet. Briolet or whatever you want to call it. And this has got a medium nib in it. Super pretty. Okay, so. This is beautiful color. When it dries, it's just an amazing color. So it's Kookaburra. And I think I've sh showed it before, this Kookaburra crest. It is Van Diemen's ink, part of their Birds of a Feather series. And it's this kind of like warm gray beige brown. I don't know, like I don't know what, what to call it. It's kind of like a dove gray color, I guess. Just really hard to define this color, but it goes down a little bit darker and then it dries to this just really nice brownie gray color or stone color or warm. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> and it is in my Bennu Brown Orchid. Now, obviously, I have um, some inks left over in pens 
that I've already showed before just because I haven't got around to you know using them since I've been back um also I was down in Melbourne so I um didn't get to do a lot of writing so I still have a few inks that I might have showed previously so that's a medium nib that I've got in my brown orchid and then this one here is I really love this ink oh it's so pretty this is the Shikiori <gasps> so beautiful i love it this is the the sailor shikiori harahara and it's this dusky purple i want to say you know it's not like a purple purple you know what i mean like it's just got this sort of a bit of gray undertone to it and i think it's just you know when it dries it's gorgeous it's a gorgeous gorgeous color i love it thanks jane for showing this on your channel i saw it on a jp pen and inks channel she was swatching it and i thought it was super pretty and so i got a sample of it um and i've got it in my diamond 580 trisby iris and on this i have a fine nib and yeah this fine nib came originally with my briole and now it's on here so yeah, and I think the other two, um, let me just get these out of the way for a sec. The other ones I have um, definitely showed you are the Ink Studio 462 Sailor Ink, which is, you know, one of those inks that I got as part of my quest for the perfect kind of, I call it sage ink. But it's more of a green gray ink um and this is very similar to the robert oster ink that i got which is called the sydney darling harbor ink and this ink here is in skull kill and this has got a fine nib yeah and this fine nib that came with this and i just put it on there and it just writes beautifully this pen is just like the perfect pen for me it writes so well it feels great in my hand that that nib is just writes divinely super super happy with that and last but not least i think i, I have shown you this which is the um blue grass velvet which is a feral wheel press ink this is a super super lubricated ink it writes so well and it's just i want to say and um, one of those teal little green inks um and it's got a bit of a red um shading to it you know what i mean like just a little bit of um red in it okay so and this is part of a charger set that i got called i think it was um edward's garden and this is in oops where did i get that ink from okay so and this is in my alarmy all star this is my blue green and I have got a 1.1 stub nib in there. Yeah, so definitely I have showed these, I reckon. So guys, let me know what you think um, of these inks. How pretty is Project E23? Colorverse one. I loves it. I loves it. Now that's those but i wanted to show you these ones here i did a couple of days ago so the ink has actually dried super well so can you see there's a little bit of sparkle wackle in there that color is kind of like a, a gray green super super pretty with a little bit of sparkle in there not too much and then the poika can you see that gorgeous red green in there like it's just beautiful it writes so well and then the project ink color verse that kind of dries to that beautiful terracotta pink um again this is kind of a lot a very very orange apricotty pinky color which reminds me of you know her bonds raw dunk that's the copper patina then we've got the blue ring octopus with its red sheen in there um as you write blue i don't really like this blue and then look at the kookaburra crest how beautiful is that kookaburra crest and then also the shikiri harahara 
How beautiful is that? I love it. And then the last two are the last two that I've just done, which is the Ink Studio. And then the Blue Grass Velvet. So those are my currently inks um, for the month of August. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comment section below which one is your favorite, which one of these inks do you have, you know, what you like, what you don't like. Also, please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment down in the section below so that helps the algorithms put my content out there. And until my next one, hope you have a good one. Tell Ellie.